It is a privilege it's to rescue these animals. The, the birds that I rescue are a bit like the people out there. They're injured and they need to be rescued. I'm George Patrick O'Neill and I'm 64 years old. I'm a Lancashire boy from Bolton originally and moved to Hull 20 odd years ago and I love it. As a child I grew up in a very troubled family and it was constant trouble with neighbours, police, school, everybody. When I was about 20-ish, 20 odd, I met a friend called John who introduced me to Christ and he told me that Christ died for me and since that day I've never looked back. Christ then became my personal buddy. He became my best friend and he still is today. I've let him down many a time, but he's never let me down. And I know for a fact he never will and he's there for anyone who wants him. When John introduced me to Christ, I had a six month prison sentence hanging over me. So he rescued me and he put, he put a closure on my past by me walking into the police station the next day with John. And I spent the next six months in a prison in Liverpool studying the Bible. And John gave me that. And I will forever be grateful to him. And I've got support now within the members of the church. I joined the church originally in 1985 after investigating a lot of other churches. After a while of being in the church, I became inactive. I've decided 10 to 14 years later to become active again. This time, my daughter Vanessa came along after I'd been a couple of times on my own, and she's never looked back. She was baptised about six months ago, and since she's become baptised, her friends have started to make inquiries now, and one of her friends was baptised recently as well. She is inspirational. Last night, I invited my wife to church, and she actually turned up for sacrament this morning which was brilliant. Linda has got a good testimony as well. It's just that it's been neglected for the last 10 years. And now that she has started to come back, it's our turn to support her in bringing her back into the church. There are people out there who need help, like the, the birds out there who need my help. And you don't give up on them just because they've injured themselves. You know, people are just the same. They need that help, and we've got to keep working on them. One person can sort a lot out. It's like that ripple. You throw one pebble into a lake, a still water, it spreads and spreads. And this is what we should be doing with people that we know. We're not in the church. With the investigators, we should be doing it with them because you tell one, it spreads. It's what Christ asked us to do. It brings me joy knowing I'm doing what Christ wants me to do.